there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 9th through to the 15th. I want to take a moment to wish any of you celebrating birthdays this week a very happy birthday, Pisces. So let's get on with the reading. First up, we have Major Arcana, the star in the upright, followed then by the Five of Swords, reversed. And next we have Major Arcana, the fool in the upright, followed then by the Five of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have the Four of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. Pisces, look at you with the overall energy of the star. You're so optimistic. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, this is the Aquarius card. Some of you could be optimistic about an Aquarian. Uh, somebody, some of you could just be involved with an Aquarius this week. And, um, the, the star is as well as being uh, the major arcana wish card, which makes sense if you're celebrating a birthday, of course you would be making a special wish. <laughs> so wish upon a star, Pisces, <laughs> and blow out those candles for your cake. Also to uh, the wish card, or sorry, the star card is very healing energy for some of you, especially if you've been dealing with an Aquarius, perhaps there's been some healing involved in that relationship. Now, this is not necessarily romantic, could be friendship, could be a family relationship, however it's playing out or makes sense to you, Pisces. But there could be some healing involved in that relationship. There could also be a lot of optimism where you just feel like, oh, I just feel really good. I feel really optimistic about something. Could be for some of you, it's about a relationship. For others of you, it could be about a job situation or a career or finances or just optimistic in general <laughs> about everything. Coming right off the hop, we do have the Five of Swords here in the reverse position. Five of Swords in the upright can point to a nasty, uh, nasty little battle. It could be a verbal battle that happens with other people. It could be a special person, but it could also be a group of people where everybody kind of gets involved. And, um, you know, we can end up being the winner, but in, as a result, end up losing our best friend or, you know, somebody super close to us. When the card is inverted, that could have happened, Pisces. And if that did happen, it looks like there is some healing going on from that situation so really good if something happened over last week or over the weekend where there was a battle or the five of swords can also indicate an internal battle when the card is reversed this can be where we release ourselves from the internal battle when we're no longer having conflict with ourselves over a situation so moving on we do have the beautiful energies of the fool this is all about taking that leap of faith and Pisces often gets the fool. I've noticed that because you guys like that, you know, taking that leap of faith. You just never know where it's going to go, especially since you're so optimistic. So taking that leap of faith is just, you know, something you want to do, Pisces. And good for you. I mean, it's always good to start something fresh, start something new or try something new. Some of you, the fool could be, you know, you're trying a new hobby out. You could be trying to skydive, you know, or you could be trying to bungee jump if people still bungee jump. I don't know what the latest hobbies would be, but you know, whatever the situation is, you're ready to take that leap. Um, if it's a new relationship, you're ready to, you know, jump in there or maybe start a new or start a fresh with um, a relationship that perhaps you've healed from already. So however it applies to you, just remember, just take what applies. If it doesn't apply, then it's not meant for you. It's only for the people it's resonating for. And moving on towards the weekend, we do see the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This can point to financial situations that you thought might be a little bit tough this week, Pisces. Well, it looks like you're going to be having extra cash. Maybe the cash flow will be a lot better than you expected. I noticed this Five of Pentacles in reverse has come up a lot today in the readings. So maybe people are just, you know, realizing the financial aspect of things are not as bad as they thought they were. Also, too, this can point to if somebody, say, for example, you did uh, lose a good friend or a good support system in a battle earlier, like 
over the weekend or last week or something like that. You could see a return of the person because the Five of Pentacles in reverse can also indicate where someone who has abandoned us or left us out in the cold, uh, could have been even due to a simple argument, is now returning. So this could be even you yourself, perhaps if <clears throat> you abandon someone, it could be that you're letting them back in or it could be if they've abandoned you because energies can go both ways. And the last card you have left is the beautiful Four of Wands in the upright position. That's what I'm talking about, Pisces. This is a good birthday card. This is actually, you've got really good uh, cards here overall. So the four of wands in the upright position, this points to um, you have arrived, whatever it is you are working towards. Um, there's a goal that is going to be attained this week by the end of the week. Could be celebration time. Some of you, if you've been working towards um, making a relationship serious, could be this is the engagement party. For others of you, this could be the wedding. This could be the housewarming. If you've been working towards, maybe some of you just moved into a house or an apartment or something and you're throwing the housewarming party others of you could be it's the weekend energy could be attending a function uh could be a birthday party in honor of pisces or it could be that you're attending a wedding or something like that elsewhere um whatever the situation is you have arrived and this is time to finally exhale uh scorpio also got that card too um so it's beautiful energy. It's its ability to now say, I've reached this summit. I know there's still more work to do, but this is, you know, this is the my victory that I'm celebrating right here, right now. <laughs> so that's what's going on. And in closing, I will be pulling a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. See what other energies are around here for Pisces. And let's see what your Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards are or card is <laughs> perseverance perseverance Pisces just keep moving towards the goals that you set for yourself and that is your own sh private message don't tell anybody about it and uh, that's just between us so also in closing I will be pulling a zodiac card to see what astrological sign could be prominent for you this week and what do we have for Pisces? We have Moon in Aries, Courage. Hmm. Could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising involved, but it's Courage is the um, believe in yourself. So that is the message connected to that card. So that is your reading, Pisces. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.